Hello, hey, hi, it's me. <laughs> Welcome back to Talk for 10. Um, this is my podcast. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm very tired. So if I'm a little uh, like spacey, then sorry. I have slept the least this week than I have in a long time. Um, <clears throat> when I was younger, I mean, you know, not that I'm like ancient or anything right now, but I feel like in my early 20s, I could stay up till like I don't know, four or five in the morning and then go to work at 6.30 and just be like, yeah, I'm tired, but I'm functioning. It's fine. And now if I get less than like, I can still function on like six and a half hours of sleep. I'm still okay there. But if I get less than six, I know and I can feel it. And I've done that too many times this week. So anyway, get your sleep. I think I just, I have a really hard time going to bed early. I can, I can get up early. That's fine. And like, I don't have a choice because the cats make sure that I get up in the morning to feed them no matter what. So I can get up early. That's fine. But I just, for some reason, I really can't go to bed before like 11 o'clock unless I'm actually just passing out. I talked to this with my mom a little while ago where we realized that we have a hard time idling. And I think that's just because we have the ADHD anxious brains and so when stuff isn't happening we just get anxious like we just our brain starts going too much so I think that at, at bedtime I have a hard time putting myself to bed earlier than when I would pass out because then there's like this weird idle time where I'm trying to slow down and relax and like I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to read a little bit, put my phone away. And then I just lay there and I end up staying up until like two in the morning. <laughs> so <clears throat> I have to, I have to be doing things like I have to doom scroll on TikTok or play a game or, or do a task or something like that until I'm literally so tired that I have no choice to go to bed. And that's usually around 12 or 1230. So anyways, my sleeping habits are not the best, not the worst, not the best. It's fine. Um, also, uh, if you're watching the video, you can see I'm holding up a little teeny tiny can of Canada Dry, um, cranberry ginger ale because they're back, baby. And this is my favorite flavor. It's so damn good. And it's one of those really tiny, like 222 mils. It's like smaller than my hand. It's adorable. I don't really drink pop as much as I used to, which is good. Um, but I do still really, really like pop sometimes. Um, so I try to get the tiny cans. I know it's not really cost effective, but I will drink it all in one sitting because I hate flat pop. So I'd rather have a tiny can and I prefer cans over the bottles. So yeah, I, I buy little packs of tiny cans sometimes because I like them. So here you go. Me tapping on the can ASMR. Woo! Also, um... I think because I am tired, I've just been a weird, like, restless, but also don't really know what I want to do. Like, I went to the grocery store to grab some snacks because, again, I had to get up super early today, didn't sleep enough, and so I did not make a lunch. Um, but I went to the grocery store and I literally wandered around for like 20 minutes because I just didn't know what I wanted. I didn't know what I wanted to get. The only thing I knew for sure was that I bought these silly socks for my kid. They're Swedish Fish brand socks <laughs> because uh, they love Sweden. And I saw these and I thought they were funny and they made me chuckle. So I got these. So I walked around the grocery store for 20 minutes holding these Swedish Fist. F fist? Wow. Swedish Fist. No. Swedish Fish socks. And then finally, um, I was like, screw it. I'm going to get a pizza Lunchable. So I went to the back and I looked at pizza Lunchables and I went, holy shit, they're $6.50. <laughs> like, what the fuck? So I didn't do that. Instead, um, I got an entire loaf of pumpernickel bread um, and some spinach dip. So that's going to be my lunch. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. Let's see. It's um, <clears throat> it's November now. And I looked at the weather. Uh, I'm in like southern central Ontario-ish, you know. Um, and normally it's colder. You know, it was cold this morning, but I looked at the weather happening and it's going to go back up to like 19 degrees next week or something like that. So that's a little insane. I'll be honest. Now, it helps because it gives me more time to do outdoor winterizing that I'm supposed to be doing um, because I'm a procrastinator and busy. So kind of good, I guess. 
The only thing left I really have to do is um, I need to borrow a ladder so that I can empty my eaves troughs of like leaves and stuff. I guess that's a thing you're supposed to do. I don't know. But my neighbor has a ladder. I saw them on it. In fact, I saw them doing this exact task like two weeks ago. <laughs> so I'm behind and I know they have a ladder. And uh, yeah, I think that uh, they'll probably let me borrow it because I mean, I live in my grandma's house and I knew my grandma. So they kind of have to like me and help me. Right. Is that is that how it works? I don't know if that's how it works, actually, but it's fine. Other things, plumbing updates. Plumbing's all fixed. I just have to replace the carpet. So what I've been doing is uh, a lot of research because <laughs> all my uh, Audi HD people out there, you know that we love to plan and research and be inspired and think of schematics and spend way too much time drawing layouts and just like doing all the prep in the world. Except when you actually have to go do the thing and then all of a sudden it's like, well, I no, I don't want to do that. So... Yeah, it's been a little bit, but I do actually have to do the floor. So um, I my plan today is to uh, go get a better box cutter because I, I have a knife, but I guess there's like a carpet knife. And I mean, sure, I could probably do it with my box cutter, but I'm just going to get the good knife because I know myself that if I struggle a little too much doing something, especially something that I'm going to be doing by myself, um, I'm going to get so pissed that I'm not going to do it. So I'd rather just spend a little extra money and get the carpet knife that actually does it. Now I'm not ripping up the whole carpet. I'm just ripping up a section. I think my friend came over and we measured and I think I need like 182 square feet of flooring or something like that. Um, which I mean, sounds like a lot, but it's not really a lot. It's probably like a medium sized bathroom amount of floor. Actually, I don't know sizes of anything. <laughs> that's what she said um I'm not good at gauging size of things <laughs> again <laughs> that's what she said ah yeah so anyway I'm gonna rip up the carpet tonight and um I'm probably gonna stop and actually get some of the flooring on the way home too so that I can start the process because I don't want to rip up the carpet and then leave a ripped up carpet until I get motivated to do it again so hopefully if I start the flooring today and tomorrow, it'll force me to finish it because then I can be excited about setting up my studio because the whole plan is that downstairs is a little kitchenette and a bunch of people were like, oh, you could rent the kitchenette downstairs in the basement. Like you make extra money. I'm like, fuck no, I don't want, I don't want tenants. Like that sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> And I've always wanted a little studio. Now, that being said, I have had craft rooms before, but the craft rooms kind of ended up being like the dumping ground for all the extra shit. Um, this time, because I have other places to dump my extra shit, um, I can make it an actual studio and set it up properly. And I used to call myself an artist and I really enjoy doing arts and crafts and making stuff. And usually every year for Christmas, I make people gifts and um, I would love to get back into doing that more. But again, probably the ADHD thing, if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. And also if I have to set up the area every time I want to make something and then put it all away again, I'm not doing that. That's too much. Like I need a spot where the stuff is already there. And if I'm working on a project, it's already out and I can just leave it out and then go back to it when I'm ready to work on it again. So there's a space downstairs that is pretty much perfect for that because it has sink hookups so I can wash my brushes and stuff. Um, so yeah, the idea is that I'm going to turn that little section into a studio and partially an office, like where I can put my computer and all that kind of thing. So I am excited, but also have to learn how to live in the moment. And uh, we're not quite at the studio part yet. We're currently at the having to rip up the carpet and replace the floor before I can do anything else. So that is the plan is to... Uh, do that. And I'm going to try to do it today. No, I'm not going to try. I am going to start it today. <laughs> today and tomorrow. I don't know how long it takes to rip up a carpet or to do flooring, but I feel like it's, it's feasible to do 182 square feet in two half days of work, right? Because I actually work at my other job, like my real job this weekend too. I think I could do it. That's not too much to ask, right? I don't actually know. We're going to find out. <laughs> so I'm going to do it tonight. I'm going to start today. I'll give you an update next time. Yeah, I don't know. So I'm going to like uh, open up my, my little ginger ale here. Ah, 
do a little cheers here cheers clink and have a great day love you bye <laughs>